All right, so we're going to run through, find some data from this stuff here and talk about the symbols and things like that. I'm going to have my calculator off on my other screen, so you won't be able to see it. I'll drag and drop the screens that I'm putting into the calculator into my notebook, uh, but it's just much easier for me, and that's why I work with two or three monitors all the time, if I can have my calculator on a different screen and be able to go back and forth. All right, so uh, following set of data represents blah, blah, blah. We want all this information. It's going to get it from, this, from one variable stats. Okay, it's going to hit the stat button and then edit. All right, so stat, edit. My lists are clear, all right, so there's nothing in there. If your lists aren't clear, you gotta go up to the top, hit clear, and then enter. All right, and then I'm gonna type in my information. So 11, 17, 18, 10, 22, 23, 15, 17, 14, 13, 10, 12, 18, 18. I always count my numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I can tell if I have the right number. So I have 14 numbers in my, in my calculator, so I'm good. Okay? Then I'm going to hit the stat button again, and I'm going to go over to the calculate, and I'm going to go one variable stats. All right? So I'm going to make sure that my screen doesn't have anything in the frequency list, and I'm going to go on to calculate. All right, and then it will spit out the following screen. All right, so I'm going to drag my screen from my calculator over here and drop it into this notebook. I should be able to do this. Okay, so there's my screen. And I'm also going to scroll down because some of it is off the screen. Okay, so there is my two screens that it gives me. All right, so if you didn't get these numbers, that means you entered in um, a number incorrectly or you don't have enough. All right, and it has all the numbers that I need right in there. So X bar, it says round of the nearest hundredth. X bar, that's the mean, so that you can see that that's 15.57. Sigma, this is the standard deviation. All right, that is right there. So it's 3.99. All right, minimum is 10. Maximum is 23. These are all on the list. Q1 is 12. Q3 is 18, the median is 16, the interquartile range is 18 minus 12, 6, because it's the these two subtracted, and then the range is the max minus the min, to, to, uh, 23 minus 10. All right, so there's all the numbers. They all come directly from right here. The big thing is make sure you get your numbers entered into your calculator correctly.